And we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you how to use the color balance. You can use it to quickly edit your photos. So let us use this as an original, I'll copy it, I'll rename the copy. I want to make sure that it's active in the layers menu. Now I go to colors and there is the color balance, the first option. Check the preview. You can see three color combinations. You've got the reset buttons right here. And we can select the range for shadows, midtones and highlights. By default, you shouldn't have any presets, but you can create your own by clicking on a plus sign. Let's first adjust our shadows. There are lots of shadows in this image. So if I turn this slider towards red, you can see how this affects the photo. Let me go to highlights, and I use the same slider, and now the background is affected. And we also have the midtones, so everything in between the shadows and the highlights. And GIMP does the rest for you. It decides which is part of the shadows and highlights and what is in between. So what is the midtones? And you can use that to quickly edit your photos. For example, here, I want to make it greener. And it's easy to do. Just select the shadows and pull the slider towards green. And if I have the split view, you can see the original. So it's a completely different feel now with a simple adjustment. Let me add some blue to the highlights so that we have the sky a little bit bluish. At some point it becomes a little bit unnatural. So for example here we might get away like 40, but if you make it 100, even 50, 60, it doesn't look natural anymore. But if you want to have more like a fantasy look, you might even try these extreme results. And you can see that you can adjust and edit your photos quickly with this color balance without having to mask anything or select anything. And these are the basics of using the color balance in GIMP. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.